Hi friends, so I wanted to film a Get Unready with me today because I wanted to show you guys products I've been using like for my skincare after I wash everything off my face and just like how I get all my makeup off and this is pretty heavy makeup so I felt like showing you guys what I've been doing. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is definitely get all this hair out of my face um, because all this hair as if this is more hair than I used to have, lol. But I'm gonna just get this out of my face before I take off this makeup. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is take off my lashes because lashes are not the move when you're going to sleep. So, lashes off. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use some of this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, this stuff breaks down everything so I'm really glad I um, like this was like a very spontaneous buy and I'm already almost out of it I use it literally every time I use makeup and it breaks down everything so I just put it on a cotton pad and I just wipe away all my makeup well at least most of my makeup before I cleanse my face so I'm gonna just put it on a cotton pad like this you like to just soak the pad and then I'm gonna remove my lipstick first. And then I'm gonna put some on another cotton pad and do my eyes. So after getting off that first layer of really, really, really rough makeup off, I like to do one more cotton pad just to kind of do a clean sweep over the face. It's not going to be super clean, you guys, because I haven't washed my face yet. But for the most part, you want to get those little particles out of your eyes, like mascara and such. And I'm going to show you guys what one sweep will pick up like after I've gotten most of it off. And it's still a lot, which means that when I wash my face, there will be more stuff coming off. So um, get under your eyes and be really sensitive and gentle around your eyes um, and nose area and under your face. So this is how much comes off even after I used like a lot of product already or not even just a lot of product but just I've cleaned it my face is big and yeah so now I'm going to rinse off my face before showing you guys like how I've been prepping my skin for sleeping and all I honestly use is regular um, Dove cleansing like for my face like body wash for my face you can use a very active like cleanser for your face but what I like to do is I invest into the actual breaking down of my makeup and then I go very 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 sensitive on like the actual cleansing portion because your skin already has natural oils that it wants to lean on to and yeah so I'm gonna just wash my face really gently and then I'll come back to show you guys all the preparatory steps that I do so that my skin stays popping okay guys so I zoomed you in because I just wanted to show you guys how my face looks without makeup and fresh you know fresh faced and rosacea and all so this is just how my skin looks I look like I have natural contour on my face but I don't know what it is to be honest I think it's just natural discoloration I have it on both sides it's as if I already have bronzer on all the time but this is how my skin looks and um, I just want to share with you guys like what I've been doing so that my skin stays this way even after wearing makeup because makeup be rough you guys like for your skin so what I'm gonna show you the first thing is gonna be using an essence after and kind of like a essence toner extract type of ordeal and this is a Tony Moly male product actually and it's called black master um, home skin with sea cucumber extract and I really like this product for right after I wash my face because I do think it also tones and moisturizes, it, moisturizes as well. So all I do is put in a couple pumps on my cotton pad like so and I just very gently swipe across the face. It's really helped my skin like calm down and not feel so tight and dry after I wash. 
it has like a very manly smell to it i know it's a men's product but i really like it so i use it my boyfriend uses it as well so after that i'm gonna go into um my snail essence which you guys i've raved about this in every freaking video that has to do with my skin and it's an amazing essence that you can get on amazon and it's the advanced snail 96 mucin power um by cause rx and i really love it you guys it has this jelly like formula and it just blends into your skin really well so i'm gonna just put that all over the face all right and after that we're gonna go into this um gold snail hydro gel eye patch from esfolio i really like this product for when i use like makeup like after because my eyes get dry like the underneath of my eyes get dry oh my god i almost broke my nail trying to open this but um yeah under my eyes gets dry and i like to use this product to really hydrate after it's really important after you wear makeup to take care of your skin because your skin is not supposed to wear makeup so if you don't invest into skincare, it's just a disaster. So they look like this, little gold, kind of looking like yin and yang. Ooh, I kind of spilled some of that, but oh well. It comes with this spoon thing so that you could take it out. And I honestly just wear this for like five minutes and it helps so much. So you just grab it out like this, you put it underneath your eyes and it's super cooling. It's like, it feels so cool right now on my eyes. Um, but yeah, you try to get it as close to the uh, lash line, the bottom lash line as you can because I feel like that's where I get driest and I don't know about y'all, but you know, like just get it where you feel like it's the most effective or just use eye patches in general like this and it's just cooling your eyes and I'm going to just stay like this for five minutes and we'll come right back. Alright guys, so it's been about five minutes and it'll peel right off really easily and I like to take um, a, a kind of like napkin and just kind of absorb that up a little bit I, because I go in with something else to cool and I don't want too much product on my face. It's, it can be very thick, you know, and I don't like that thick, uncomfortable feeling when I'm trying to go to sleep. So um, after the eye patch we're gonna go into this aloe soothing um gel from Sk skin food and i have the cap still on it because it's brand new pretty much and i just take this much about um an ind index finger amount and this is very jelly like as well like if you've ever touched aloe that's literally what it feels like and so I put it all over the face, just like this. And it, I like a thick layer of this. I'm not sure why, but it just feels really good and it dries nice. So you can you, like hear it from my face. All right guys, so after I applied the aloe, um, I kind of just let my skin breathe a little bit. And honestly, the aloe is the last main step. I think the last thing that you really should do after you do skincare is moisturize your lips. So after I finish all my skincare things, I have to moisturize my lips with some Carmax because your lips after lip product is so dry. You can use any that you like. There's a lot of bougie brands of lip products, but I always go back to Carmax. It's like a dollar and it just works for me. So yeah this is pretty much my clean face look how i look like when i go to sleep and i feel like it's so important to clean your skin after using makeup and just being able to let it breathe you know but thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time bye